Hello everybody, it's me, Matteo. Today I welcome you here in my little RC garage because of the special circumstances. All over the world, people have to stay at home to fight against the coronavirus. And also here in Switzerland, the government wants from us to stay at home. So I thought because of this extra time, I will give you an overview of my RC garage and my RC collection. So basically this is my working bench. Maybe you know it from my build videos. These were all made here. These are my chargers. These are from Team Orion. One single charger and the bigger one is a dual charger to charge two batteries at the same time. On this shelf is my stock of paints and other small parts like screws and servos and electronics. Now at the moment on my working bench are these two trucks, the HBI Venture FJ Cruiser and the JP1 from MST. This is because I recently modified some things on these cars. On the Venture I installed these inner fenders. It's an original part from HBI made in polycarbonate. And on the front axle I installed some aluminium parts like the C-hops and knuckle arms. Also universals are installed now. And on the body I added a small antenna. On the MST JP1 I installed these bigger wheels. The tires are Super Swamper 2.2 from Proline. And here you can see the bigger dampers from G-Made. These biggie back shocks are really cool. The oil pressure can be adjusted by turning a screw on the biggie back container. But now let's see my other cars. Here on this shelf over my working bench you can see us first MTX1 monster truck from MST. The body on it is the hard plastic Ford F350 from Tamiya. And this is the Tamiya Hilux Highlift. It's a lot modified and there are some videos on my channel with this car. Also how I painted it. It's one of my oldest trucks in my collection. This is the Mitsubishi Pachero on the CC01 chassis. This chassis is upgraded with parts from Year Racing and I have also a video how I built that body. And this is a CFX chassis from MST with Damia Super Blackfoot body. Now let's go to the next shelf. Here are some of my scale crawlers, my Traxxas TRX4s. This is the Defender, the Bronco, the Mercedes G500 and the Chevrolet Blazer. These two trucks are made from Chimate the boom and the Komodo double cap. And of course here my Trax has TRX6 Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG 6x6. As you can see I store all my trucks on a support to prevent flat spots on the tires and to release the pressure on the dampers and springs. Often I use empty spray cans for that. Here you can see some different things. The river jet from Pro Boat. It's really fun to drive in rough water like rapids in a river. Also from this you can find a video on my channel. And this is the Chevy Blazer. The hard plastic body is from RC 4 wheel drive and the chassis from RC Model X. It looks very realistic with its smaller wheels. This is the new CCO2 Mercedes-Benz G500 and the CCO1 Defender.
and this is the Tamiya Suzuki Chimney on MF01X chassis and the Honda City Turbo, a re-release of the Willis Wheelers from the 80s. Here you can see the G-Mate Goon, a great rock buggy with two-speed transmission and dig function. This is something to relax, a harbor tugboat. And here are my two MSD CMX cars, the Land Cruiser 40 and the Jeep Wrangler. This is my only semi truck, the Grand Howler from Tamiya with a tank trailer. So, a lot of cars needs a lot of radios. Here you can see it. For many of cars I use my Futaba 4PL with different receivers. But with all the ready to run trucks like the TRX4s I get a new transmitter. That's why I have so much. And these are all my manuals. There are a lot of Tamiya manuals but also from all the others. I always keep my manuals. As you can see these are a lot, accumulated over the years. And this box here is something special. Let's have a closer look on it. This toolbox is completely self-made from me back in the 80s. I think it was in 1987 and I was about 17 years old. This part here with small pieces can be removed. And then also this compartment with bigger parts can be removed. And then here is more space for longer parts like motors and others. What I really like is that this box is still in good condition after so long time. It's more than 30 years old now. And also the stickers on it are original stickers from Tamiya from the 80s. Maybe you have already noticed there are also a few planes here. And yes, I enjoy it a lot to fly RC planes, especially in summer in good weather. This is a Trojan from E-Flight, comes ready to fly, electric powered and it's made in a very strong foam material. Also this plane is from E-Flight, it's called Maule. I have loads on it and it's fantastic looking when it starts from a lake. This is the biggest one I have, it's a Sukhoi 29 acrobatic machine made in full fiber composite materials. The wingspan is 2.6 meters or 102 inches. And have a look at this engine. It's a two-stroke, two-cylinder, 100cc gas engine. To see the actual size of this plane, compare it with the Traxxas TRX-6. The TRX-6 is a very big RC scale crawler, but it looks small compared to this great Sukhoi. So I hope you like it, this short tour in my RC garage. But you maybe have noticed, there are not so much old classic Tamiya cars like the Hotshot, Monster Beetle and all the iconics from the past. This is because these cars I have in another room. And I like to go and show you these cars also. So here we are, and here are my iconic Tamias. The Sand Scorcher, the Fighting Buggy, the Buggy Champ. In the past, it's called Rough Rider. Here on the upper shelf is the Monster Beetle. This is an original Wild Willy, it's not a re-release. But this one does not run, 
First, I have to fix some issues with the gearbox. And this is the black foot on the same chassis as the monster beetle. This is the hanging on racer from Kyosho. A very nice and good working RC motorcycle. It's also a re-release. The original was also released in the late 80s. On my writing desk I have here the Avanti. And here the Hotshot. And you can see also some trophies from the time when I took a part on some RC car races. Here on the floor is the Tamiya Agrios, a monster truck with two motors and four wheel steering. And here is the 40th anniversary special edition Porsche 934 RSR Jägermeister. And here behind this is the much more precious 30 years commemorative model. It's still unassembled, new in box. And here is another RC model, it's a sailboat. It's also very old, I bought it in 1989. The name was Fairwind from Kyosho. I'm proud to have it after a so long time and it still runs great. So here on the other side is my Bruiser and Mountain Rider. The Mountain Rider was originally called Mountaineer and both was released in the 80s. But these two are re-releases. So this was it, this short tour in my garage and my RC collection. I say thanks for watching. And please stay safe, stay at home till this crisis is over. And I'm looking forward to see you soon on my next videos on Matthew's RC movies.